Hello and welcome to Nirmal Bang, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Hilal Dadia. We have with us Kunal Shah, Head of Commodities Research, joining in. Uh, Kunal, welcome to the show. Uh, Kunal, the kind of numbers that are coming in with regards to US inventories as well, uh, what's the indication that we're getting in terms of crude? Because a lot of global reports circulating which are indicating that there is a possibility that crude could hit $100 per barrel. No, I don't agree with that. Uh, right now, what recovery we are seeing is because of the news which has come up, which is saying that the Omicron circulation and the Omicron from the point of view of contain, contagious is, is very high. But the uh, COVID affect, uh, the patient who are affected with Omicron COVID virus, they are not having any major illness. So this is the uh, recent study which has come out. And because of that, we believe that uh, there will be some complacency in the world. I think the traveling again in next two, three weeks will start uh, to resume and uh, the demand will be better. So this entire play is right now getting, uh, uh, you know, in the groove right now. And because of that, uh, crude oil prices are moving up. Crude uh, in short term can move up by 54.80. But my view is not positive because... Uh, Intraday point of view, you can go long today and uh, wait for the target of 5480. But US oil production is up by almost 7 lakh barrels from the lows. It has already tested 11.5 million barrels per day. So now production is also moving up along with the prices. OPEC, the moment December months gets over and January, we go into January, we are going to see another 4 lakh, bar uh, 4 lakh barrels of production coming and hitting the market. So I am not expecting a very bullish trend. 54.80 for intraday, you can go long and uh, uh, stop loss should be placed around 53.75. Right. Uh, Kunal, moving from crude as well, what's the sense that you pick up in terms of gold and silver from here on? Uh, because uh, Gold and silver is also looking positive to me uh, in today's trading session. I am expecting another bounce uh, from the lower levels. 48,000 gold, go long. 47, 800, keep a stop loss. 48, 250 to 300 book. Profits, uh, silver 61, 800 go long, 61, 600 keep a stop loss and wait for the upside target of 62,300. Right. So that's with regards to where overall uh, gold and silver goes. Uh, Kunal, in terms of base metals as well, uh, do you think overall, you know, uh, especially if you see copper, zinc, aluminium and lead, uh, there's a possibility that we could see some bit of stabilization over the next one to two quarters because the kind of rise that we've seen in 2021 and then from there on in 2022, it will be a slightly uh, lower kind of a bandwidth in terms of metal prices. Yeah, so we are going to see some bit of, you know, respite in uh, prices of uh, uh, metals. We have seen good correction, but right now, I explained on Monday, today also I'm saying because China has cut the rates in short term, it is going to move up. This is a Christmas time. Uh, we are going to see some short squeeze. Copper was short fundamentally. Uh, huge short positions were built up. So some short squeeze is likely to take place. I recommended to go long in aluminum at 280. It is already 225. Nickel from 15, uh, 1520. It is right now 1550 almost. So I expect this two commodity to continue uh, continue to move up. Aluminium, my target is 228. Huh. Nickel, my target is around uh, uh, 15, 70, 75. So nickel and aluminium continue to go long. Aluminium, uh, copper still can go up uh, by four, five rupees from here. I'm not going to uh, be very bullish on it, but it still has a potential to go up by four to five rupees. Right. And any view coming in in terms of natural gas? Natural gas. This looks positive. The winter uh, forecast is uh, more uh, uh, colder weather is expected going forward. So 290 to 93 go long in natural gas, 300 to 350 rupees first target and uh, 315, 300 to 315 rupees first target. I think uh, uh, gas can shoot up from here and European gas prices are up by 15%, which has nothing to do with the US. But okay. since the weather conditions are expected to be colder, I think uh, gas should move up. Right. All right, Kunal, thank you so much for giving your views. Thank you, participants, as well. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for in depth interviews of India Inc. and press the bell icon so that you do not miss our updates.